All right, what's up, YouTube? We got another top eight profile here. What place do you get, and what's your name, man? Fourth, I got, uh, my name's Jason, by the way. Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, let's start with the deck profile. So it's very standard, but very balanced. You have three scroll Kovat, three monkey boards, three sorcerers, two lizards, and one turtle. Mm -hmm. Then you have three plush fires, uh, one, uh, what is it? Trick, Trick clown. clown. Three jugglers and the mirror very standard um, also the three lusters and one uh, master mm -hmm. and then same two um, I see everyone playing two and that um, that's correct and then the hand traps are two maxis and two veilers they both put in work like they they came in when I, I needed them the most did you ever need ghost ogre no ghost ogres. Um, I couldn't pick them up, but either way, I, wouldn't, I didn't want to play them. Um, three wavering eyes. Everyone offered uh, to side them out, and I kept them in. And uh, oh, it, really? makes them, it makes them harder to think. They're like, oh, I don't know what to side out now. Mm -hmm. And then I always side in my same five, which I'll tell you. Uh, two twin twisters main, because they just hate back row and like floodgates. And then just uh, anti spell main. I just mm -hmm. don't like that. And then everyone plays three, but I play two, and the reason why. For every vector um, overlayer that you draw, it's two cards dead. Mm -hmm. Because you can only activate two, so yeah. uh, that's the whole thought. And it's like, this card is alright, and it's always 50-50, because that's not what it is. It's basically a 50-50 card. And I liked it at two, and it came in uh, clutch. And then uh, my two traps are bottomless and time-space. The reason you don't like why... Um, the, here's the concept. Uh, the trap tricks has two materials so why are you gonna give up one material here's two cards for the uh, trap tricks and it hits both cosmos and pepe mm -hmm. um, and that's the concept cool. extra deck everything in here i made and they all did their job um, two lusters uh, one fusion on one exe mm -hmm. um, castell the trap tricks diamond dire the pop back row Dweller for uh, jugglers and uh, BA, uh, trapeze, uh, double damage, just to search for your high scale, um, Ptolemyus, and uh, Diamond. Diamond. Um, I wanted a game one matchup for uh, BA because this stops BA. Mm -hmm. uh, the Rendell, this won me a game. Um, he could not run it over, and I was just making him pop my back row mm -hmm. instead, popping my scales. Um, and then the infinity um, side deck. These never went in, but they were there. Drolin Lock slowed my opponent down, um, and the fact that he knows that I have uh, Drolin Lock and end my turn with Durendal, they're scared to search because if they search, uh, I'm gonna chain. Uh, you could get rid of everything. They yeah, have. get rid of everything, and uh, you know it's there. Uh, Regeki uh, put in work just to get rid of anti spells. Uh, three system downs to just get rid of the ships because main deck is only Inglisters. If I get their ships out without Inglisters, I can get rid of their back row. Uh, vanities, um, my continuous cards basically. Floodgates. Um, yeah, so it was either these for Cosmos going first or these for Pepe going first. Um, I flipped this and my opponent to a turn later like scooped it up. Um, so yeah, every, everything in the side deck worked except Denkos. Denkos are going to be massive uh, restrict when Monarchs come out. And I feel like this, this deck is very balanced. Cool. Alright, do you want to give any shout outs or anything else you want to uh, say? I do. Um, I borrowed a lot of cards. Um, I borrowed a Sorcerer from Frederick and uh, Stygins. Um, I borrowed a Drolin Lock from Alex Alcantar. Um, who else? I played against Tango, Daniel, and Wesley. They're both from my locals, and I had to like knock them out of the bubble, like mm -hmm. knock them out of tops. And then uh, my boy Manny right here as well. And then um, I think the two most important people is uh, Brandon Wells. He actually like took me a ride to. Uh, <laughs> you could be in it. Oh, oh my God! Me. You could be. He took, for eight weeks, he took me to SAC, Sacramento, six times, and it was just practice, practice, practice. Um, and then Daniel Bustos right here, he's actually the one that inspired me to like play uh, Tier 1, because back, I played this game for five years, couldn't afford the cards, 
got a job. He inspired me to cash out on tier one, and it pays off. Because I think, uh, you know, after five years, I think I'm a good player. And then uh, two tops in a row um, kind of shows for it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Cool. Congrats, man. Mm, thank you.